respected teachers, parents, and students. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'een amma ba'd. We all can recognize the importance of good manners in Islam. If we were to count down the necessary traits that a Muslim is supposed to adopt, we would be able to make a long list of them. Not all characteristics and qualities carry equal weight in determining the value of a Muslim's character. Yet, one of the most crucial attributes that a Muslim must adopt while also being one of the least stressed upon in our daily discussions is the attribute of modesty. Modesty is a central characteristic which Islam mandates upon its followers to adopt and espouse. Modesty in Islam is defined as a trait which prompts a person to avoid all that which is reprehensible. The criterion for distinguishing between that which is reprehensible or otherwise is the revelation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down upon his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa But besides that revelation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also instilled within our souls the general disposition to avoid evil and to be inclined towards good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, فَعَلْهَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Then he inspired it the nafs with its instincts of evil and piety. Surah Shams, verse number 8. The importance of modesty is evident from various texts of the Islamic Sharia. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said as recorded in Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 6117 and in Sahih Muslim, hadith number 165. That haya, modesty, leads to nothing but good. Similarly, it is recorded in Mustadraq al-Hakim, hadith number 58, that Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Haya and faith are inseparable. If one of them is lost, the other will be lost too. Dear audience, there are many components to modesty, but let us bring to attention the part that immediately occurs to us when we hear the term modesty. Modesty in our interactions with the opposite gender. While it is true that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created a natural attraction between males and females. But he has also created boundaries within which both genders must operate while interacting with one another. Modesty is most often mentioned in the context of women. Yet we neglect to bear in mind that modesty applies to men just as it does to women. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, tell the believing men to lower their gaze and guard their private parts. That is purer for them. Surely, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all aware of what they do. Surah Al-Nur, verse number 30. However, when you ponder over the situation of our modern society, we find it is committed towards constantly propagating immorality. The situation has become so dire that a person will not be able to spend a day, except that in it, he will encounter a billboard, a TV advertisement, or advertisements on the internet which will objectify women and present them in an obscene attire. If our gaze accidentally falters and falls upon something forbidden, then it is necessary for us to avert our gaze immediately. It was narrated that Jarir ibn Abdullah said, I asked the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about a sudden glance and he commanded me to avert my gaze. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2159. We must also take care to avoid those moments and places where such images are likely to be encountered. This includes avoiding watching movies and drama and playing video games and avoiding gatherings which allow non-mahram men and women to mix with one another. We need to bear in mind that those who spread immorality among the Muslims 
have been warned of a severe punishment in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, Indeed, those who love to see indecency spread among the believers who suffer a painful punishment in this life and the hereafter. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows and you do not know. Surah Al-Nur, verse number 19. Respected audience, modesty also mandates us to avoid certain traditions that are deemed as being acceptable in even the so-called conservative families. The foremost among them being mixing between the opposite genders, especially among cousins. I would like to make it absolutely clear that it's prohibited in Islam for there to be free mixing between cousins of the opposite gender. There is a misconception in our society that there is no need to observe hijab among cousins. People may say something like, Are, cousin hi to hai? But know that the Sharia has designates cousins of the opposite gender as being non mahram of one another and obligates them to avoid free mixing between one another. If certain family traditions dictate otherwise, then, quite frankly, those family traditions are utterly worthless. Another aspect in which our society is extremely lax is regarding the dressing of the young daughters. Even before they reach film maturity, it is incumbent upon the parents to have their little girls used to be dressing modestly. Having them dress in tight and revealing clothing only corrupts their mind and gives them a wrong impression of what appropriate female dressing is supposed to be like. It is a big mistake to disregard such dressing as insignificant by saying something like, Abhi to sirf bachi hai. You cannot expect your daughters to grow up to regard Bibi Aisha and Bibi Fatma. May Allah be pleased with them both, her role models while in their early years. You make them out of the clothing, resembling the dressing of immoral and shameless women. Dear audience, while we have the right to criticize our society for their shortcomings in regards to adopting modesty, there is still good within us, despite the onslaught of immodesty in this era. We can still find certain cases of families embracing Islamic values, such as the ladies adopting hijab, their men restraining their gazes, and the shunning of free mixing between the opposite gender. Just consider our gathering here in this venue. We can see that the genders have been segregated, keeping in line with the Islamic values. Let us likewise adopt all the other facets of modesty in our lives. Remember, O oh Muslims, that we will be held to account for every act we perform, no matter how insignificant it may appear to be. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the Quran, فَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرٍ يَرَى وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِسْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرٍ يَرَى So whoever does an Adam's way of good will see it, and whoever does an Adam's way of evil will see it. Surah Al-Zilzal, verse 7 and 8. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon وَسَلَامًا عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَمَا عَلَيَّ الْإِلَّا الْبَلَاغِ جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته